Welcome to another week of EPL Insights. Gareth Wheeler, Jake Osgathorpe with you. The podcast remains on hiatus. So yet Jake and I for a much shorter period of time, which is probably preferable if we're going to be honest about it. (laughs) Uh, Jake, only four matches in the Premier League this weekend and the fixture list. I think it's safe to say none of them really stand out. Would you concur? Absolutely, yeah. Load of rubbish this week. That FA Cup, that pesky (laughs) FA Cup ruining things. So we may come back to some of those fixtures in today's best bets. But for now, we're going to turn our attention to the FA Cup quarterfinals and the marquee fixture of the weekend from Old Trafford. It's Manchester United and Liverpool, a Sunday fixture. They also play these two sides at Old Trafford on April 7th in the Premier League as well. In this game specifically, you can back United to win plus 297 on Pinnacle. Plus 297 as well for the draw, and Liverpool at minus 116 for the win. The goals total set at three. Where are you leaning uh, for this game, or do you have an overall play to be made for this one? I think you can guess where I'm leaning. Uh, (laughs) Strong lean. It's a very strong lean, (laughs) yeah. I'm absolutely shocked that we're getting minus 116 for a Liverpool win. Absolutely shocked. Uh, I thought we'd be closer to minus 150, to be honest. I don't understand this price one bit. Um, I know Liverpool are coming off the back of a game with Man City. They play midweek, but they're comfortably in front in that that's uh, ahead of that second leg against Sparta Prague. So I fully expect Klopp to rotate at Anfield and save his, his stars for this game. And let's be honest, Man United, they've been picking up a couple of results recently, but performances have been shocking, really bad. Even against Everton last week, 1.8 expected goals conceded in that game. Uh, obviously scored from two penalties. They were rubbish at Man City. Um, they obviously lost to Fulham in the previous home game. Against Luton, they conceded loads of chances as well. Same at Villa. So I think Liverpool could have a bit of a field day, really, and rack up the goals. Um, again, I highlighted Manchester United's defensive struggles from set pieces last week. My man Tarkovsky went bloody close. He had three shots. One of them was very, very close to goal as well. Um, so if you can find odds on Pinnacle close to kickoff, Virgil van Dijk to score any time would be my outside shout but uh, Liverpool to win at minus 116 looks nailed for me yeah it, it, that's a no-brainer but I'd also recommend playing the total as well United as poorly as they played last week scored two goals at home against Everton had a 2.9 xg on understat as well and United have played to over the two and a half total in seven of their last nine games Liverpool and United last time they played played to a goalless draw at Anfield but Liverpool had 34 shots in that game. And overall in this fixture, outside of that one, or including that one, I should say, they've gone over two and a half in the head-to-head between United and Liverpool. If you're thinking about backing United, I think again, yes, they did beat them last time in the FA Cup back in 2021. It was behind closed doors. It was during COVID, different scene. Mo Salah scored 12 goals against Manchester United. He's just absolutely thrashed them. That's more goals that he scored against any other, in, than any other fixture. So it's hard to not back the total or Liverpool in this game. I think from where both of us stand. Consensus here, Jake? Absolutely, yeah. Like I said, if this was Man City going to Man United, you're getting way shorter than this. Um, And I don't think Man United have shown us anything recently to suggest that they should be, well, at that kind of price that we're currently getting. So yeah, I'm Liverpool all the way in this one. Yeah, Liverpool do play Sparta Prague on Thursday. Uh, should be a lot of change in that side as they lead 5-1 on aggregate heading into that game. We're going to switch things up and take a look at La Liga for our second game here. And it's a big fixture in La Liga as well. Fourth versus third as Atletico Madrid hosts Barcelona. Both of them playing in the Champions League midweek as well. You can back an Atletico Madrid victory at plus 135 on Pinnacle, plus 273 for the draw, plus 195 for Barcelona. 2.75 is where the goal total is set. Do you have a play in this one, Jake? I do, yeah. Um, This is the unstoppable force versus a movable object because Atletico Madrid are unbeaten at home. Barcelona are unbeaten away so far this Liga season. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if both of them kept that unbeaten record come the end of the the weekend. The draw looks a big price to me at plus 273. I definitely had my eye on that. But for a bit more security, um, if you think it's going to be a draw, generally it's going to be quite a low scoring game. So I was surprised to see under the, the line at two and three quarters. I was expecting two and a half. So they're giving me an extra quarter of a goal than I was expecting. 
plus 102. I'm taking the under in that. Um, it, it's a big game, really, for... It's a, probably a bigger game for Atleti than it is for Barca, just purely because the chances are, obviously, we're recording this on Wednesday before Atletico play Inter. Uh, the chances are they're, they're knocked out of the Champions League, and that means that they're only... The, the only purpose for the rest of the season is finishing the top four, and they're in, in a big battle with um, Athletic Bilbao at the moment. Um, and Barcelona, they, they're kind of still in the title race. They probably want to assert as much pressure as possible. I think both will look at this as just like a little bit of a do not lose kind of game. And, and Barca have so many injuries um, in midfield Pedri, Gavi, De Jong, all absent, which means mm-hmm. Andreas Christensen's been playing holding midfielder. If you can get a price on Christensen to be carded, He's committing loads of fouls and the bookies haven't quite cottoned on to the fact that he's playing a bit more, a bit further forward. But yeah, under for me, um, you look at the totals that these clubs, these teams have put up recently in in the league and you probably would say that doesn't make much sense. But I just think this is a, a matchup um, in where we'll see very few goals. I, I, I previewed the game Barcelona at Bilbao not so long ago um, and went for unders and that finished nil-nil. And I can see this going very much the same way. Two teams that kind of cancel each other out a little bit. Um, Barca's away process defensively is very good. Um, so yeah, Atletico Madrid without, probably without Griezmann, I could see Barca keeping them quiet. Well, it sounds like Griezmann could play against Inter, but I mean, which might have a little bit of a Is he going to be fully fit? Yeah. That's the thing. And coming off a big midweek fixture against Inter Milan on Wednesday. I agree with the under. Like, I I would love to back at Letty in this one, especially playing at home, a place where they're 13-1-0. They have the second best expected home points, uh, courtesy of Understat, just behind Real Madrid. They've been that good, but no clean sheet in their last five games. They've been on a little bit of a wobble, but they've only conceded 13 goals at home all season long. And their 12.35 expected goals against in 14 games games is the second best Barcelona likewise stingy defensively at home and expected goals against just 12.58 in 13 the defenses and especially considering you're getting plus plus money at two 2.75 2.75 the goal total right now it makes a lot of sense also keep in mind last three meetings between these sides all finished barcelona one atletico madrid nil uh and they played to under two and a half in six of seven so the recent trends and the the, the extended trends all skew to the under in this game so consensus here as well <laughs> uh, let's shift things to any other game uh let's go with our best bets of the week what else has caught your eye in the market jake um well, this is epl insight so i've got to put up a bet from the premier league um i looked at brentford to beat burnley at plus 118 i think that's a pretty big number um, Bournemouth went to to Turf Moor. They were even money last time. Uh, Burnley's home record: one, one, drawn two, lost eleven. They've scored just thirteen in that time. And I think that the, the, we're getting a slightly inflated price on Brentford because of their recent results. Um, they've lost six of the last nine: one, one, drawn one. But the schedule's been really tough. They've played Spurs, Man City twice, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal. Um, they beat Forest. They beat Wolves. Two teams that are probably around their level. The only disappointment coming away at West Ham. So I think this is a really good game for Brentford to kind of push themselves clear of danger. And that price looks a bit big. I'm with you. I circled that one. I don't want to use another word agreement. Last week to, to jinx us. Plus 118. You got to be kidding me. Burnley only has five points at home all season long. They have it one in 11 games. Burnley, you mentioned it. Their last five games Arsenal, Chelsea, West Ham, City, Liverpool. And before that, Wolves, City, Spurs. So they might have not won in their last five games, but they played tough competition. Their expected point total away from home, by the way, is over seven points higher than they've actually picked up. And they already smashed Burnley this season. Three nil it crushed him in the xg in that game so brentford at plus 118 let's go this weekend i have a second play <laughs> luton town in nottingham forest over the total of 2.75 at minus 111 luton town no clean sheet in seven over two and a half in eight of nine both teams have scored in seven of seven nottingham forest hasn't scored in their last three games at all competition that means they're due head to head they played to a 2-2 and kettleworth road brings goals jake in their last five games, or their most recent games at home, Luton Town, goal totals five, eight, three, four, and, and four and five. I like that trend. Kenilworth Road is a place where the ball just hits the back of the net. Yep, you're not wrong. I definitely agree with you on that pick. So there we go. Those are our best bets. We'll see you next week. This has been EPL Insights, kind of this week, with Gareth Wheeler <laughs> and Jake Osgathorpe.